Hey, what's up guys? It's Clever Techie. In this video, I'd like to show you how to code in HTML so we can start creating websites. Now, before we begin, let me show you something here. I have created some files that are going to be using in the video, like these backgrounds, diagrams, and HTML cheat sheet, and some images that I'm going to be using here in this video. And uh, I've gone ahead and packed up all these files in a zip file. And if you go to clevertechie.com forward slash HTML dash video, you will enter your email and then the system will automatically send you that file. So if you want all these files, go ahead and do that. Okay, let's get started here. First of all, I'm going to be using Notepad++ to code HTML and I just created a new file here and I'm gonna go ahead and save that file as and when you're doing this with a notepad or notepad plus plus or whatever make sure you choose all types and then your page name I named page one that HTML and um, now we can open that page in whatever browser we want. I'm going to do Chrome. And and so here on the right hand side, we're going to see how the interpreted HTML code looks like. All right, so what the heck is HTML? Let me show you here real quick. So HTML, all it is is a bunch of tags. And this is what tags look like. You got a tag name surrounded by these angle brackets. That's your opening tag. Then you got a closing tag, which is the same thing, and it's going to have exactly the same name as the opening tag, with the exception that it's going to have a forward slash right in front of the tag name. So that's your closing tag. The content, like the text, images, links, and whatever goes in between the opening and a closing HTML tag. Now, if we combine the whole thing together with an opening closing tag and the content in between we get what is called an HTML element all right let's start coding some HTML here let me show you some examples of the tags okay so if I just type some random text here for example this is my first website ever it's going to be about baby animals. At the same time, I'm going to learn how to code HTML. This is very cool. Exclamation mark. Okay, so if I just refresh this page here in Chrome, I'll get exactly the same text, so nothing's going on yet. <laughs> okay, so... Let me give you an example right now. If I use this tag called strong on this first sentence, you can see that this first sentence has been bolded. So what so what that uh, strong tag did to this sentence is just formatted as as bold and that's what strong tag is supposed to do. Another example is a EM tag which stands for emphasize and all it does is makes text italic. So the second sentence here became italic and if I wanted to for example <clears throat> underline the fact that this is my first website I can do an underline tag with a U and that will underline the word first. So you can see how you can use these HTML tags to format your text and you can use other HTML tags within within these tags inside of them. So we get like a nested effect. Okay, <laughs> so this is a basic idea of what the HTML tags are. Now, if you notice here, we have I put the these sentences on three different lines, but if we look at the browser, it's all like one sentence, especially if I expand it like this. 
you can see how the whole thing is, is on one single line. So in HTML, you gotta use a tag called br if you want to have the text to ha it stands for the breaking line and if you want to have your sentence show up on the next line this is the tag you used you use now if you notice uh, this tag it's a unique tag because it's called an empty empty, <laughs> empty HTML element because there's no content that goes inside of this tag and so it, it also doesn't have an, a closing tag so it's just one opening and closing tag in one and it self closes with a forward slash in between uh, inside the tag that's why it's also called the self closing tag there's only a few of those another example is a horizontal rule tag and all it does is creates a horizontal line just like you see here another tag uh, that I'm gonna cover is the image tag IMG and those are the only three self closing tags that I know of and you're probably not gonna run into others but if you do you know what they are now okay so those are the self closing tags <clears throat> and another exception to the standard uh, HTML opening and closing rule is a comment and this is a comment comments are basically for the for the coder for the programmer to understand the code better so I can say strong tag stands for bold, you know, and this is how we do it. We use the same angle brackets, but it starts with an exclamation mark with two dashes, and we close the tag with just two dashes without the exclamation mark and the angle bracket. So that's another exception to the rule, and that's pretty much it. Now, let's see where we are here. Okay, so another set of tags that you're going to encounter a lot is called the heading tag called h1 now h1 is going to be your biggest heading then there's h2 and as they go up in number the heading is going to become smaller and smaller you'll see what i mean here in just a sec i'm just going to do this up to h4 and say something like welcome to my hobby pet site and then I'm just gonna copy this text and put it in between these tags refresh the page and as you can see the biggest heading is the h1 the second is h2 h3 and then h4 so it goes all the way up to h6 and it becomes smaller and smaller as it goes down so this is a really useful tag for setting up your headings on your website now uh, there's also something called nested HTML tags and these are tags like for example an unordered list tag UL and let's just put some text inside of it like kitten and um, elephant and piglet and if I refresh the page here as you can see it created like a tab space here but it it doesn't really do anything by itself so in order for this to work we need what is called a list item inside the UL tag I'm just gonna copy this list item tag to the other ones and don't forget to close it and I'm just gonna copy and paste now we got three list item items inside of our unordered list tag and as you can see this is uh, created um, a bulleted list and this is called an unordered list in HTML. <clears throat> so you can see how it's nested. It's like the UL tag and then there's li tags inside of it. Okay, so in, in, if I did a ol, that would be an ordered list. And that would change to 1, 2, 3, which is an ordered list. Just a numbered list. That's all it is. Okay, so those are the nested HTML tags. Now... Okay, before moving on to more tags, let me show you how a typical HTML page actually looks like. Okay, so here's the structure of every HTML page that you're going to see. First of all, you got your HTML tag, and this is the main tag that defines the HTML document, and all the other tags live inside of it. After that, we got a head tag, 
And just remember for now that inside the tag is where you put your title tag. And title is gonna show up as a title of your web page. Now inside the tag, uh, inside the head tag, we also have stuff like JavaScript, CSS, meta info, and other stuff that you include, uh, like external scripts and CSS, stuff like that. But don't worry about it right now. Just remember about the title goes inside the head. And after the head, we got the body, and this is the visible visible part of the web page. And most HTML is gonna live here, and that's where we're gonna be putting all of our HTML. Okay, this is the structure, and I'm just gonna update this document here to to correct the structure, because right now we don't have the HTML tag, so I'm gonna create that. All of that is gonna go in between. Then I'm gonna create the head tag with a title tag inside of it, just like that. And also the body tag. And all of this HTML is gonna be inside this body tag. Okay. And I'm also gonna put some kind of a title right now. You can see like here's a page one that HTML, which is not a title at the site. So I'm gonna say best baby animals ever. Refresh the page and now this is showing up as a title just like we want. Okay, that's the structure of HTML and the title tag. Now, now let's get into the attributes. Okay, so what attributes do here? I got a this little uh, picture here to illustrate it a little bit better. Okay, so we got a tag name. Inside the tag name, we put an attribute name, followed by the equal sign, and finally we put the value of the attributes inside the double quotes. Okay, let me show you an example so you guys understand what I mean here. So for example, if I wanted to change my my site's background color, I can use an attribute called BG color and I can set it to any color I want, like light blue. Save this file, refresh the page, boom! The color has been set to light blue. So just like in the diagram, we got the attribute name followed by the equal sign, and inside the double quotes, we got the value. Now, certain uh, attributes will only apply to specific HTML tags, but some attributes will also apply to other tags, like the BG color can apply to other tags, like I have like I'm showing here in my cheat sheet, the BG color can apply to body, table, table cell, and table row. And I'll get into it in a little bit. Okay, so what else? Let's see here. Introduce the font tag. Okay, well, another uh, thing you can do here is, for example, if you wanted to change the color or something of the your uh, text you, you would use a font tag and a fo font tag has a attribute name called color you can set that to blue white now red set it to red and if I wanted to just do this whole sentence close the font tag and now the second one is going to be a red okay so those are attributes now, instead of using these color names as as actual words like light blue, red, we can also do something cool. For example, let me show you something here. Let's go to a website called W3Schools, and I have my URL. I'm just gonna paste it here. Now, here, you, uh, if you go to this URL, w3schools.com forward slash colors forward slash colors underscore picker dot ASP <laughs> and pick a color any kind of color for example I'm just gonna pick this pink color here. well I'm gonna pick this purple color here you're gonna see this value which starts with a pound symbol if you copy this value and like as you change the color obviously the value is gonna change so pick any color you want 
copy this value that starts with a uh, pound tag and you can put this inside this value for the color and that's gonna be exactly your color so that's how you can use what is called hex values to basically choose any kind of color you want instead of coming up with color names like light purple and some other names which might not be even HTML values this is like the sure way to do it alright so I just wanted to show you this um, that part okay our body can also have a different attribute called the background and if we wanted to set our background as a picture instead of instead of a color we can do this we can use the background attribute and then since I have my backgrounds here inside this BG folder I would have to specify where it's located so I'm gonna be using clouds.jpg so for the value I'm gonna set BG clouds.jpg so you can see how this works here my page is inside of this root directory here but the clouds background lives inside the BG folder so when I go to it the clouds.jpg is right there so that's why we're specifying BG forward slash clouds.jpg which is the full path to our clouds.jpg background and now I refresh the page and you can see all these cool clouds all right now I already explained how we can have multiple attributes apply to different kind of tags now let me introduce a tag called image IMG and this is how we insert images into our web page so you start with IMG and the attribute is SRC which stands for source equals and then we self close this image tag because there's no content that goes inside of it and for the path we also specify where this image is located in this case I have this image inside of my IMG folder and I'm gonna use this cute kitten here kitten.jpg so IMG is forward slash kitten.jpg and I refresh the page and I have my kitten showing up here and I'm gonna insert the BR tag so the tags uh, so the text goes on the next line okay so that's an image tag now why are we still on the paths let me also introduce a link tag and the way you create link is by using an a tag which stands for anchor and this tag has its own attribute called href and we can create two types of links for example we can link to another website like I'm gonna link to this URL here I'm just gonna copy and paste this whole URL here and if you're gonna be linking to another website make sure you start with HTTP and then type the full address of whatever URL or website you want to link to otherwise it's not gonna work now inside the a tag you also want to enter some text like go to animal center to adopt a kitten and then of course don't forget to close the a tag and now I have this link showing up here and if I click on it it's gonna open this page where you can look at all these pictures of cute little kittens <laughs> alright so if you noticed this link also opened in the same tab and if I wanted to for this link to open in another tab there's a attribute for that called target target equals blank and uh, if we test the page now and click on the link you can see how it opened in another tab so here what I did is basically created another attribute inside the a tag and you can place with these attributes anywhere inside the tag as long as they're followed by the equal sign and the value and and all HTML tags can have multiple attributes like for example the image uh, tag also has its own attributes like besides SRC it has an alt attribute and for the alt attribute we can say 
kitten and for title is another attribute we can say meow. Now what the alt attribute does is in case the image uh, is not found like I'm gonna make it so it's not found on purpose here this is the words is gonna show up here kitten and uh, if I go back here and fix that and then the title is gonna show up when you roll the mouse over the image so as you can see it's saying meow now okay so those are multiple attributes can be applied to the same HTML tag to achieve all kinds of different results and all the attributes do is modify the way the HTML tag behaves so we can set all kinds of different values and change all, diff all, all kinds of different elements of our web page now let's move on here and lastly I'd like to show you guys tables okay and I created a diagram for that as well let me show you real quick actually before we do that let me show you another type of link it's what I wanted to do first okay so if I wanted to link to another page on my site I would create the first of all let's create another page file new and I'm gonna save file as page 2html and I'm just gonna copy this whole thing so I don't have to type it again and pretty much delete everything inside the body tag and I'm just gonna leave everything else alone here and here I'm just gonna say something like IMG SRC equals IMG elef we're gonna put an elephant picture on this page and uh, let's see if that works I'm just gonna go to this page now page 2 okay I got my elephant picture here because I have that picture inside the IMG folder and now we're gonna name the title elephant refresh the page now this page is called elephant okay so from page 1 we can now link to page 2 by simply specifying where page 2 is located which uh, and page 2 lives inside the same directory so we can just link to it in uh, in this way page 2 HTML visit my friend elephant <laughs> and close the a tag so for the href instead of specifying you know a full URL like that I just said page 2 because it's already on our computer so now if I refresh, well, first of all, let's create another BR tag here so it's more neatly organized. And if I click on it here, it goes right to page 2 where our elephant lives. Pretty cool, right? Okay, those are the links. And finally, I want to show you guys how to create tables. Now, this is what a typical table looks like. Let's open it up here okay so you got a table tag you got a closing table tag inside the table tag you see two types of tags called TR and a TD now the TR stands for table row and as you can see there's only two rows one and two so one row is in green color and the other row is in in another green green color below the uh, first row okay got a little bit confused here and inside our rows we got a table cells now every table uh, row has two table cells within it and these are uh, shown as in orange and I just created this diagram for you guys so you can understand it better because it can be a little bit confusing at first because you know there's a lot of tags that make up the whole table structure so you got the whole table is blue table rows are green and the ta table cells are going to be in orange and inside the table cells is where the actual content goes now let's create the actual table so you'll see what I mean here okay so I'm just going to create the table cell here be below my h4 tag let's say table close table right away Then I'm gonna put the TR, which is a table row, close it. I'm gonna put another TR, 
close it. And then within the first table row, I'm going to put two table cells and close them as well. So we have exactly what I just showed you in the diagram. And I'm just going to copy all of these. I don't want to type them again. And also, we can use a, an attribute called border equals black. Oh, actually, border equals one. And now <laughs> you can see how tiny this table is because ha having put in a, any content inside of it. So now we're going to put some content. For example, I'm going to put animal names inside of these. Puppy, leopard, and kitten. So now that I put all these names here, you can see the table. Okay, that's pretty much it for the table. Another thing, cool thing about the table is you can make it bigger or smaller by using cell padding and cell spacing attributes. Cell padding is going to expand the actual uh, space around the text, just like you see here. And cell spacing is going to increase exactly what it says is going to increase, which is the cell space. Cell spacing. As you can see, there's uh, cell spacing between those cells now. Now, uh, finally, I wanted to show you the BG color attribute and how it can be applied to the table. Basically, if, you, if we take a look here at our cheat sheet again, we can see how the BG color can be applied to body, table, table cell, and table row. So we can have all these different elements of the table in different color. Okay, so for example, if I set the table BG color to, say, light green, our whole, whole table is going to be light green because we haven't specified what kind of background we want for the row or the cell. Now, if I wanted the first row to be something other than light green, I can say maybe light yellow. Now, as you can see, the whole row became light yellow. I want to just do yellow because it kind of looks white here. Okay, so there you go. Now, if I wanted to apply it to individual cell, I can do the same exact thing and say something like, what other color is there? I'm just gonna go back here, and choose light pink, or not light pink, light purple, copy the value and insert it here and bam now we have so basically BG attribute can be applied to all different kinds of uh, to all kinds of different elements within the table and uh, I think this is it just keep playing around with HTML and have fun and eventually you'll just realize how easy it is because uh, this is all it is it's a bunch of tags and uh, attributes with values and as you play around with it you're gonna get used to it and all this code is gonna be really easy to understand and um, I'll be I'll be putting out another video on CSS where we're gonna get into some really cool stuff and how we're gonna be styling websites and make it look really nice and uh, please go to clevertechy.com to subscribe to the newsletter and you'll get updates when I release HTML guides, which are basically going to be similar guides like this, but in HTML format, but they're going to have advanced techniques. You guys are also going to receive new videos, cheat sheets, diagrams, and other updates. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.